Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today I'm going to be showing you how I made my Hot Topic Birds of Prey confetti jacket from the photo on the left to the photo on the right. So I received my Hot Topic Birds of Prey jacket and as you can see, it was very yellow, the fabric was very stretchy, not very shiny, it had these massive black gaps in the middle of the fabric and it just wasn't very puffy so I felt like I really needed to puff it out, add a little bit more shine to it, add a little bit more colour. I really did love the jacket but it just needed a little bit more to it, it was so flat. So I bought some foil wrapping paper in all different colours, I actually only really used about five colours. Here you can see the purple and the gold foil wrap that I used. I also used pink, blue and silver and it's literally just a metallic wrapping paper. I used sellotape to make the strips, which I'll show you in a second, caution tape. I bought a caution tape with an adhesive side but I'd say probably try to avoid that as best you can because I had to spend ages folding it back on itself, cutting off the sticky edges and making sure it was even without air bubbles in it which took a long time. I used a needle and thread to stitch in sti the strips and some scissors to make the strips. The actual foil strips I just tried to cut them I cut them by hand, I just tried to cut them as even as I could and try to mix the colours up as best I could per strip. Starting with cutting the caution tape, I just rolled some of it off as best I could, folded it back on itself, stuck it down, cut it off and then had to cut off the sticky edges. It was a super time consuming process but I think it was quite worth it for the end result plus it just made sure that none of the sticky bits got stuck to the other bits of foil. I would, like I say, try to buy the caution tape without the sticky side. I didn't really think it through when I bought it, I just thought that this would work. And then I just cut each piece of caution tape into different sizes and sewed it into the jacket. So next I just took all of my pieces of caution tape that I'd just cut up, cut them all into different shapes, sizes, different lengths and just basically got them ready to start taping into place with the different coloured strips. Next I just took this piece of sellotape and just rolled it out on the table. I took different coloured strips and just started sticking them to the tape in a row to make a strip. You can make them as long and short as you want, just as long as there's loads of different colours sort of within that strip. Double it up, make it as thick as possible and just look really pretty. And then just fold the tape over the top and you have the strips. There's probably a better way of doing this, I just hadn't really figured it out. And then I just basically thickened the top of the sellotape up by wrapping it round a couple of times. Mm -hmm. 
And then I just took the jacket sleeve and started sort of making space on it to reveal the fabric underneath. I took the strips that was already on the jacket and just tied a hair bobble around it. It won't really affect it because it's just stretchy fabric. And then over those black bits of fabric from the underneath I just literally stitched each strip to that fabric. I actually doubled up my thread as well just to make each strip a little bit more secure when you're sewing it in there and the thread just a little bit stronger. And then I went right ahead and just sewed each strip of sellotape to the jacket. I did start at the bottom of the sleeve and work my way up just to make life a little bit easier on revealing that fabric underneath. I think this is a really time consuming thing but I think the actual result of the jacket at the end is a lot nicer. It just gives a better feel to each sleeve, it's a lot more thicker and a lot more accurate. Okay guys, so this is the end result of my jacket. I am really, really happy with the end result. I'm really happy with the way that it turned out. The sleeves feel a lot heavier, they're a lot thicker, and I'm just really proud of it. I'm so glad that I took the time to do this. If you want any links or anything, please check the description below. And thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope this helps you all with your own Birds of Prey Hot Topic jacket. Thank you so much.